Okay, I'm back. See if I can do some stuff here and quit wasting your time. I'm trying to support this really well because if I didn't, I'll break it. I'm hitting down and I'm hitting above the center line and down, kind of like, you know, a no-no, uh, turning the edge. And um, there really is only one way to get away with that, and I just didn't get away with it. But what I was going to say is the only way to get away with that is to have good support underneath it to where it just doesn't have that effect. So now I've painted a big square edge again, and I've got a very narrow piece, but since I'm working on it, I think I'll just continue working on it and see what happens. I think this may be above my skill level to savage this one. Well, let me try pulling out one of my little bag of tricks things and show you and see what it does. What it doesn't do. Okay, little punch, where are you? Here's a little punch. That didn't do anything. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get enough grab on this. Try it from the end. This one I'm trying to do, you know, I don't know that you can see it, but I'm just trying to zigzag the thing. I got this, this square edge and I need to try and attack it from the ends because it's so steep that I really don't have any other way to do it that I'm aware of. Go back over here. The problem that I'm going to end up with, of course, is that with it being as narrow as it is now, this way, once I do that, it's kind of steep, and so then I'm going to end up with sort of a turtle in the middle to try and deal with, which again, wouldn't be a problem probably from, for a really good apple napper, but that's not what I am, so it'll be a challenge for me.
This is actually working. I mean, I don't know how much it'll continue to work, but it's doing something. You can see the diamond is getting smaller there. So I kind of need to work from the other end a little. The simplest thing to do, kind of, you got to remember not to braid too much with uh, with the abo tools. You can braid some, but if you overdo it, you can. It's kind of like when you, uh, you know, stall a notch sort of situation. By the way, flakes run good on leather. When you trap, you know, a piece on leather and hit, you, your flakes are run completely different from the way they do normally with, uh, you know, an open notch on co on with copper or something on a rubber pad. So you got to kind of remember that. And have some surprise overshots. Yeah, it's just not working on that end. This might end up being the world's smallest tang knife or something. The world's fattest smallest tang knife. So anyway, you know, it's a doable kind of situation. <clears throat> I just don't like giving up, ever. I mean, I just... I'm going to have mistakes. I'm always going to have mistakes. But the more I work myself into a corner and then get myself out of it, I mean, that's kind of huge. That's really sort of where what little skill I have has come from is was working stuff that's difficult and getting in bad situations and then trying to get out of it. Boy, that was ugly, ugly, ugly. I caught too much of it and torqued it down and just crunched stuff. It's all lack of experience, really. But the problem is when I, uh, you know, make make a an ammo point sometimes I feel it for days and so therefore that's the reason I don't have the experiences because I've always been concerned about not being able to nap for a while after I do it so But I think I definitely should have. Should do a lot more of it before I start trying to do YouTube videos on it because I kind of like teaching you how not to do it. Ten of my hits are doing anything. That was a an okay flake. Bad.
Where's my big one of these things? What will this do? I did a little something, but it stepped. Looks like I've got a healed crack in through here, so this is probably not a good place to be hitting, but oh well. I probably shouldn't substitute peg punching for actually being able to do it the right way, but sometimes the peg punching works for me when my other skills are lacking. I don't really have any giant uh, billets right now, antlers, that, you know, have a lot of power. So I probably need to get a bigger antler if I'm going to be trying to work tough stuff. What time is it? 13 minutes, huh? Well, let's put it this way. I'm not really teaching you anything here, so I think I'm going to stop with this fantastic um, non-tang tang knife and do something else. Bye for now. Freeze crack.